There's fish over here by the... Nope, didn't get him. Oh, got him here. Oh, I lost him. Here we go. Got him on, got him on, got him on. <laughs> So different fighting them on this Gyanji rods. Here we go. <laughs> so if, it, if they start to pull too much drag, the rod tips down, and then they can pull line off of it. It's definitely different from what we fish with a reel. That's simple. Oh, it's a nice fish. The nice fish. Come on. There we go. Hey, all right. Rainbow on a Gunji rod. Look at that. That's cool. Awesome. Check it out. On the Gunji. That's cool. All right, let's get this one back in the water. Barbless, so it'll just pop right out. See you later, buddy. Fish down at the bottom. See if we can get to him. Oh, here he comes. Looking at it. No, sorry, I'm away. Oh, here he is. He's looking at it. Here we go. Got him. Got him. All right. So this may look like a very strange way to fish, but this is actually the traditional way of Korean ice fishing. This is called Gyanji. And basically it's just a, a fiberglass rod with a little paddle on the end that your line wraps around. And you just twirl it uh, to take up line and pull fish up. And there you go. Look at that beautiful rainbow trout. That's a big fish. Solid. Hey, 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 hey. Come back here. So there you go. So we know that from illustrations, this date back several hundred years. So we've seen paintings that date back to the 1700s, and there's some traditional Korean art that actually has this even a couple hundred years older, where they have these style rods. Obviously, they're not using fiberglass. They're probably using bamboo or wood. Um, but it's a really cool and simple way to ice fish. No reel involved, just a very simple device. This guy back in the water. So one of the neat things about Gyanji is it's very simple. If you want to let line out, you just simply twist opposite of how the line is spooled on and it just free spools and you can drop it very, very quickly. And if you need to take up line, you can just spin it in the opposite direction. It picks up another fish. It's chasing it. Nope. Uh, and you can take up line. And that's how you fight fish is you essentially uh, spool it back onto that paddle. There's some flex in this rod, just like you would have it in the other fishing rod. So it lets you fight the fish. And if you really want to, you can actually kind of tip the rod forward and the line will kind of pull off. It's like a kind of a rudimentary drag system, which is kind of cool. Um, I do run a little bit heavier line on here just because the initial shock of hook set can be uh, so strong that it might break your line, or in this case, actually this morning, actually snapped that rod. Oh shit, I snapped my rod. <laughs> that was a big hit. Uh, it turns out I thought that the fiberglass blank ran all the way down into the handle, like on this one, uh, but in fact it only runs about a quarter of the way down. So it broke off right there. So I just went ahead and taped it back on, and it's been doing good. Oh, there's a fish right there. Nibble. There we go, got him. Nice. Stay with me. 
Stay with me. Bringing him up. Doesn't feel like a very big guy. Nope, just a little one. There we go, another one on the Ganji. Nice. Swear in the nose on the Ganji. There we go. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Come on. Yeah, oh, ooh, it really feels like a good fish. Keep the pressure on him. Keep the pressure on him. Barbless fishery. Ooh, it's a nice fish. There we go. Beautiful. That's a dandy. <laughs> that fish. Come here, buddy. Hey, y'all. Check out that. That is a quality fish on the Yonji rod. Very cool. Beautiful. Disappeared. That's weird. I was coming to eat it and then just vanished. Oh, there he goes, Scout. Nice. You know, one of the neat things about this is obviously this isn't, there's just double going on here. Obviously, Yonji is not the most effective means of fishing, but you know, two or three hundred years ago, we didn't have spinning reels and all that technology. And this was their solution to spooling up reel or your line on a reel. This is essentially functioning as the reel. There we go. Little rainbow trout. And it works well enough. It allows you to store your line um, and kind of has a rudimentary drag system that I was describing there. And it does a pretty good job. I'm going to put that back. There we go. Ooh, that was a good hit. All right, a good fighter. So the main thing when I'm fighting these things is I try and keep the rod, <laughs> I always get doubles, don't I? Um, I always try and keep the rod fairly level, otherwise it'll spool back onto the handle, which is a problem. And I always try and keep it a little bit pointed down, that way line can kind of spool off the end if they make a hard run. just slow so that uh, I'm wrapped up in that other line that's a nice rainbow though look at that beautiful all right we'll get him back in there there he goes looks like there might be a fish on the bottom down there Let's see if I can get down there and get his tension it's rooting around on the bottom Here he comes. Up, 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 up. Taking it. Nope. Missed it. Oof, missed him. Again. There we go, got him. Nice. Ha. Go him, go him, go him. Gotta catch up with him. Still there. Doesn't feel like a very big one, but that's okay. Got him all the way down there on the bottom, around 35 feet. Main thing in this barbless fishery, you just gotta keep the. Keep. Oh, now he's waking up. Now he's waking up. Like, wait a minute, I didn't want to go up through that hole. Whew. Oh, that's actually a nice fish. Beautiful. Nice. That's a beautiful rainbow. Of course they all are. Awesome. Well, I think I'm going to make that my last fish of the day on my Gyeonggi rod. 
I think it's pretty cool the different ways that humanity has figured out how to get out and pull fish through the ice. Um, I mean, this technology here is basically uh, several hundred years old. Obviously, they were using a little bit things different than plastics and fiberglass in those days, but still the concept still works today. It's very simple and uh, lets you get out in the water and pull some fish through the ice and manage your line even when you're fishing deep. Pretty neat. See you guys next time.